my name is Danny, and welcome to Esoteric Moments. I hope that it's not too windy or noisy out here, but I'm on my lunch break and near the community garden, so I want to take a few minutes to record outside. Today I wanted to, to review a new book, and that book is The Trees of the Goddess. This book is about Oum, and it goes through each uh, symbol or tree in the Celtic alphabet of Oum and describes a little bit about the symbol and the tree and how it can relate when using it in divination or working with it magically. This book is organized according to the calendar, so you can use Oum and coordinate each tree symbol to a different time of year. And some people think this is really useful, some people not so much. I happen to fall in the latter group. Um, it's very intriguing as a concept, but as a reference book, it makes it much more difficult to find what you're looking for um, when you're using it in divination as a resource. Uh, maybe when I get a little better and I understand the symbols and can correlate them easier to which tree it is, it won't be quite as problematic, but uh, for right now, it's not very beginner friendly when working with OM. The book, though, on a whole, is really quite great, and I love the connections that the author makes to the tree and context in our daily life. So each month and each symbol and oems, you have a little section that gives briefly uh, the name, a symbol, the metal association with it, uh, just kind of brief little snippets. And then it has larger sections that talk about the physical tree and the context in our daily life, maybe a bit about the history or the metal used in correlation with the symbol. Some trees are a bit more flushed out than others, so that was a little bit of a disappointment. But for the most part, you get some really great context and really awesome connections. I actually think I like the symbolism and description of each tree a little better in this book than the previous book that I reviewed. Um, it's a little sweeter and short and just frankly more positive than other descriptions I've seen of Oum. The book also features ways that you can work and kind of connect with trees in your daily life a little bit better. So there's not a lot in that topic area, but what is there is really great. I think on a whole, this is a fabulous book. I would give it four out of five stars. And I think if you're interested in Oum, then you should really pick up this book. The author also has some beautiful artwork on the blog that she has, so I've included a link there. And I really think that you should check it out just for the artwork, it's, it's gorgeous. I hope you enjoyed my quick and short, sweet review. In the comments below, I would love to hear if anyone else has other resources for OM study. I would really like to get a little deeper into what that can do for my life and divination. Hope you have a great week. I hope it's as lovely where you are as it is here. Spring is finally in Wisconsin fully, um, almost summer-like. And as always, may you find peace in the sacred grove.